You've been watching any of the impeachment proceedings? Probably figured out some Americans made it known they had major concerns with how they believe the 2020 presidential election was conducted. None of the claims, though, about a stolen election were found to be legitimate by any court in any state. Here in Idaho, Secretary, Secretary of State's office, as well as county clerks, say the 2020 election handled very well, and there are no fears that fraud influenced any of our races. Idaho lawmakers have applauded the effort, but some say well, more can be done to protect the integrity of the process. New legislation targeting ballot harvesting is now moving through the Idaho State House, and Joe Paris spoke with the bill's sponsor who says it is an important concept to prevent. He also spoke with an opponent of the bill who says legislation goes too far and actually infringes on the voting process. New legislation from Republican Representative Mike Moyle would look to limit who could handle and deliver an absentee ballot in Idaho. Representative Moyle's bill would only allow a family member to deliver up to two absentee ballots at a time. No third parties like a friend, neighbor, or member of a political party could pick up ballots and take them in. Other than that, it needs to be a postal worker or somebody who works for the clerk, somebody that's, that's qualified to have it and has a list of who's qualified to have those ballots. We don't want to see you know, somebody driving around in their, in their car with 300 ballots in the back seat. Nobody knows where they came from or how they got them or what's going on. We, we want to stop that from happening. The bill is aimed at preventing ballot harvesting fraud. That's when a person or group collects or intercepts absentee ballots and alters them. If passed, it would be a felony if someone is found violating the law. Supporters of the bill says a felony makes it clear how seriously Idaho is willing to take election violations like ballot harvesting. Absolutely. I think everybody supports that. That's what we're trying to do with this bill. Make sure that your, your vote is counted, that the legitimate votes are counted, and that your vote's protected. And, uh, and, and that bill, this bill accomplishes all of those. Uh, I think it's a, that bill is an affront to every Idahoan. Um, it attacks the heart of our democracy, which is really making sure that every legal vote is counted. Democrat Representative Steve Burt says the legislation goes too far for a problem that simply doesn't exist in Idaho. It's a solution in search of a problem. We do not have voter fraud in Idaho of, of any, any measurable degree. Supporters of the bill point to a 2018 situation in North Carolina where a confirmed case of ballot harvesting ended up jeopardizing a congressional race. If the best time to fix a problem is before you have the problem, and this will keep us from having a problem in the future. Critics of the bill say the idea puts too many limits on Idahoans who are trying to help make sure all absentee ballots make it back to the county clerk. Under this bill, um, you will be convicted of a felony if you just want to help your ailing neighbor be able to make uh, by de helping deliver their ballots. Moyle says absentee voters have plenty of time and options to get their ballot back in a timely manner and hypothetical situations can still be solved within his proposed law. And most of those concerns quite frankly are addressed in the bill. You can still have a family member take care of it. The postal worker can take care of it. The clerk can take care of it. You still have all those other options. So now I think it's just I think the red herrings of people looking for excuse to, to keep it the way it is in Idaho. And that also leads me to believe that maybe there is a little bit of this ballot harvesting going on. There are no documented cases of mass ballot harvesting fraud in Idaho. Representative Birch argues that if there was, there are already checks in place to catch it. For example, all absentee ballots are verified by individual signature checks. There absolutely are. Um, and, they're, and they're very rigorous processes, which is why we don't have a history of voter fraud in Idaho when it comes to absentee voting or, quite frankly, any form of voting. Moyle says this bill is not to say that the 2020 election in Idaho was fraud. He actually says Idaho did a great job, but that this is designed to protect Idaho voters in the future. Hey, let's make sure we don't have the problems that other states had in the past so in the future Idaho can clean up some of these things that cause concerns in other states so we don't have to address what they're addressing now. To the past, and if it does, does that make us no longer the least regulated state in the country? Because it seems like we're adding a lot of leg or regulations this session. Well, it's out of committee right now, Brian, and it sounds like from the lawmakers I've spoken with that it does have support, at least on the House side. The trick, though, with passing any legislation is having success on the other side. For now, it's wait and see on uh, what happens in the Senate. There is, though, talk, Brian, from some, some lawmakers that say they'd want to see the bill change so that you could carry up to six family members' ballots and also not make it a felony, make it a misdemeanor to violate this proposed law. That's a good point. We've got a lot of large families here in Idaho, so yeah, you might want to open that up just a little bit more. All right, thanks, Joe.